Hey guys, the objective of this video is now to find the reduced live load with the live load reduction factor. So the live load reduction factor is given by this formula here. Psi subscript A equals 0.3 plus 3 on the square root of A. This is taken from 3.4.2 on page 12. So if I just show you this formula. Uh, we talked about this live load reduction and why we can use it in... Uh, the previous, in some of the previous videos, one of the first videos we talked about this, the fact that not all the space is going to be subjected to live load, so therefore we can reduce it. There's obviously conditions you can't, but we're going to do it in this video. Uh, and psi a, psi a has to be point, between 0.5 and 1. So, A is the tributary area of supporting structural elements. Now, it's important to say that this area, you have to exclude the roof. You can't include the area of the roof in this live load reduction. So, the area is um, going to be, so if we go back to the tributary area of the live load, it's like this, so it's 9 by 6. So we go 9 by 6, and we need to multiply that by 9, okay? That way we exclude the roof. We had 10 stories, so we're going to exclude the top story, which is the roof, so we just multiply it by 9, so we get 486. So substituting in that into our equation, so... 3 divided by the square root of 486 plusing on 0.3 gives us an answer of 0 0.36, 0 0.436, okay? So we can then, you can see that that uh, falls outside that region, so we need to take psi a as 0.5 then, all right? Because 0 0.436, psi a has to be between those values, and it's not, so we have to take 0.5. And therefore, we can say that the reduced live load um, in C1 on the ground floor. So all we do is we take the live load we found in the previous video, 1472, and we multiply that by the um, psi A, the, the factor. Okay? So 1472 by 0.5 gives us 736 kilonewtons. And therefore, we can say that the reduced imposed action on...